So you can keep an eye on me? Yes. That's it, lovely. Now, you may feel a small... Christ! Prick. What is it? Cutting-edge nanotechnology. Smart blood. Microchips in your bloodstream allows us to track your movements in the field. You see those readouts? We can monitor your vital signs from anywhere on the planet. So you can keep an eye on me? Yes. Huh? What were the patents for? Oh, the patents was you heard people talk about they're going to one day inject you and can control you. Well, these guys come up with something they don't have to inject you. They just put it in this room and you come in and you smell it. That's, that's what they were for. So now let's move on to smart dust. This is powder sized chip, um, and that's a salt crystal. So, this is a small thing. It's something called the Mu chip from Hitachi. It's the smallest commercially available RFID system in the world and can be pulse powered by radio waves. It doesn't require a battery. You can literally scatter this stuff like dust or embed it into a sheet of paper. And you know what the really interesting thing about this technology is? This was commercially released 10 years ago. So, the inevitability of smart dust. So what is smart dust? Well, smart dust, of course, isn't a new concept. It's the originated with DARPA back in the 90s. And it's general purpose computing, sensors, wireless network, networking, all bundled up into millimeter scale sensor modes, drifting in the air currents, flecks of computing power settling on your skin, ingested, monitoring you inside and out. But in the future, every square inch of every city will be alive with intelligence. Because every street and every building will have a network of microcomputers built right into them. Dr. Chris Peaster calls it smart dust. A smart dust particle or moat is a wireless sensor with sensing, computation, communication, and power in one package. These all-in-one microcomputers will be small, very small. The size of a moat today is about the size of a grain of rice. And we've shown that we can make the circuitry small enough and light enough that eventually it will be possible to make things that are on a sub-millimeter size scale. The emerging technology is used in a variety of medicines and even sunscreen. The research found that the small particles could damage the DNA of cells. So you can keep an eye on me? This is the Redux News. Now, if you guys click to watch this video, you're probably wondering what is Smart Dust. Now, Smart Dust devices are small wireless microelectric mechanical sensors, often called MOTES, that can detect everything from light to vibrations. It is a tiny dust sized device, 0.15 millimeters by 0.15 millimeters, or roughly the size of a grain of salt. Now, this device is fitted with extraordinary capabilities. It has nanostructure silicone sensors which can spontaneously assemble, orient, sense, and report their local environment. This new technology combines sensing, computing, wireless communication capabilities, and autonomous power supply with a volume of only a few millimeters. It is very hard to detect the presence of the smart dust, and it is even harder to get rid of them once deployed. Smart dust is useful in monitoring real-world phenomenon without disturbing the original process. Now these are just some interesting facts about this technology. With such a small size, these devices can stay suspended in the environment just like a particle of dust. They can also collect data including acceleration, stress, pressure, humidity, sound, and more from sensors. They can also process the data with what amounts to an onboard computer system. They can store their own data in memory, wirelessly communicate the data to the cloud, a base, or other MEMs, or also referred to as microelectric mechanical devices. 3D printers allow for an incredible amount of complexity that couldn't be handled by previous manufacturing barriers that restricted how small you can make things. The optical lenses that are created for these miniaturized sensors can achieve the finest quality images. It can collect an enormous amount of data, for example, if you take the Internet of Things and times it by a million or a billion, that is the power of smart dust collecting data. Now if you don't know what I mean by the Internet of Things, it is the interconnection via the Internet of computing devices embedded in everyday objects enabling them to send and receive data.
Now some practical uses for the smart dust would be monitoring crops in an unprecedented scale to determine watering, fertilization, and pest control needs. Identify weaknesses in corrosion prior to a system failure. Enable wireless monitoring of people and products for security purposes. Measuring anything that can be measured nearly anywhere. Enhance inventory control with MEMs to track products from manufacturing facility shelves to boxes to pallets to shipping vessels to trucks to retail shelves. Possible applications for the healthcare industry are immense, from diagnostic procedures without surgery to monitoring devices that help people with disabilities interact with tools that help them live independently. Now, researchers at UC Berkeley published a paper about the potential for neural dust, an implantable system to be sprinkled on the brain to provide feedback about brain functionality. Now, as I just stated that last thing, it's a positive and it's a negative. So you may see the negatives to this technology may far outweigh the positives if privacy is a huge concern. For example, these very tiny devices could be a fear if the government were to use these to collect data on almost everyone, anywhere, at any time. Or they could be simply digested and stored inside of you for constant tracking and you would have no idea that it is even happening. Let me know what you guys think about smart dust in the comments below. This is the Redux News. Thank you for watching. Genius. I'd like to prove it by playing poker. Ow. So you can keep an eye on me? Yes. So you can keep an eye on me? Yes.